Hey guys, it's John, and today we're doing something a little bit different. Um, I would be recording a Minecraft video today, but um, I went snowboarding and I had a pretty epic wipeout today. So I um, can't really remove my shoulder very much. Uh, it's not broken, I don't think, but uh, it's pretty, it's really sore uh, when I move it, so I can't really use the keyboard <laughs> very well. Um, yeah, but today I thought I'd show you guys something, I wanted to make out a video anyway, so I thought I'd show you guys how I actually make my videos. Um, and I'll show you the programs I use and how I edit it and other stuff. And I'll give you some details on um, the programs and how much they are and stuff like that. <coughs> um, so the first thing is I use to record my videos is Fraps. Uh, Fraps is not free, but you I'm not sure the exact price, but I'll probably put it in the description, I'll put the website in the description. Um, but you can get a free trial, but th with the free trial you can only um, you can only record for 30 seconds, I'm pretty sure. Um, and obviously we'll, we'll record our videos in Minecraft. Um, what, I usually to do, what, what I usually do to sync up my video and my audio, because they're uh, in two different tracks, I'll show you what I mean in a second. Uh, but what I would usually do is I would count down from three, I'd say, I'd actually be in pause at this point, I'd count down from three, I'd go three, two, one, and then it's go into my intro, and the second I start my intro is the second I unpause the game. Um, so basically I can sync up the video and the audio perfectly when I'm editing the video. <coughs> so. What I use to record my audio is a, a free program called Audacity. Um, I'll put the link for that in the, descri in the description as well. Um, it's it's pretty basic, but it it gets the job done. Like um, it doesn't have very many effects, but you don't really need them if you're just going to be recording odd uh, like a, a commentary. Um, my my microphone does ha have a little bit of a buzz in the background, so what I do is I use an effect called noise removal, and there's a few tutorials for that on YouTube. Um, but this is my editing software, this is called Sony Vegas, uh, I think it's Sony Vegas 10 HD Platinum or something ridiculous like that. Um, it's one of the cheaper versions of Sony Vegas, but I don't really need like an, an, a super expensive version. Because um, I don't actually use any of the effects. Like I did have Sony Vegas Nine Pro, which is uh, one of the later ones. It's um, it got lots of effects and lots of different things, like um, color corrector. And there's, um, I usually I used to make Call of Duty videos, so I when I made a montage, I'd use things like brightness and contrast to make the colors look a little bit better. And I used to do that for my my Minecraft videos when it was nighttime, but the updated Minecraft, so the night time is brighter than it is uh, than it was before. So I don't really need any effects anymore, but basically what I'll do uh, when I record a Minecraft video is I'll import all the video clips, and what I'm going to be doing today is I'll show you guys how I actually edited um, my episode 73 of The Fail Adventures. Uh, when I was doing this, I actually recorded for 45 minutes or so. We can actually come and see in my folder with the commentaries. Um, I recorded for 49 minutes, so almost 50 minutes. So what we'll do is we'll <coughs> import all the video clips of Minecraft in. Fraps records into into little clips that are usually about um, five minutes. Just because the files get so big, each file is around about four gigabytes. Um, but uh, you can just import them all in, edit them together anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, but now we have 50 minutes of video, and we want to make it into a 17 minute video, I think it was. So what we're going to do is cut out all the boring bits. And if we come down here to the commentary, here's a commentary, um, commentary, I'm pretty sure, I hope you can see my mouse, because there's some settings where you can change the mouse. Um, but here's the commentary, uh, what's it called again? Okay, uh, oh yeah, a commentary track. So if we come down here, and we want to we basically want to split it here because we want to get rid of all this boring bit here where I'm not talking so we just split it there and we'll come over to here when I start talking again and we'll split it around about there select all of them and split that then we can get rid of this and just delete that like that and we can bring along 
the videos so it all connects together. Perfect. Um, around about here is this is when I usually try and incorporate some of the funny bits that are not actually where I'm not actually supposed to be adding them in, but um, like I didn't really intend for this to happen, but it's one of those things that ha one of the random things that happen in Minecraft. And uh, this is when I get attacked by a jockey. And if we look in here, we can preview it a little bit. I seem to be getting some pretty bad lag here, but um, we want to split that. We want we've cut that off from each side, and we can cut it off over here as well bits and split that. Then we can get rid of all of this and delete that like that and bring this bit along. So then we've got the all three of these clips together and the commentary is running straight through and there are a few other bits that we want to cut out here and I think around about here. This is when I fell down the hole and died so I thought that was kind of funny, but, <laughs> uh, well it wasn't funny for me obviously, but I, I thought you guys would probably find it kind of funny, so I put that bit in as well. And we can just cut that from each side like that, and we can bring this along. We can actually group these videos together, so what that we can do, but we don't really need to. Um, what we usually do is we select all of it and then we go to right click group and create new. Yeah, but we wouldn't really we don't really need to do that. Um and around about here, uh, my mum walked in because she wanted to help with something. <coughs> so I was stopped I stopped recording again. Um <laughs> well I, I kept recording but I stopped uh, talking again, so we have another large chunk of video to cut out. So as we we're deleting all the all the boring bits, all the the video size is actually getting much smaller. Like this would usually, a 50 minute video would usually be about 2 gigabytes or something. Something massive like that, but down to like a 15 minute video is much smaller and it's much better, basically. It's much uh, quicker to upload and everything. <coughs> but here we go, we've got pretty much all the commentary. This has gone up to a 17 minute and 40 video. And this is another sort of little technique kind of thing that some video makers use is they end the video on kind of a high note, like something that they might think that their viewers might find kind of interesting or funny. And a lot of people did find this funny after reading the comments, but basically what happened was I threw my bow off the edge of the cliff by accident. I didn't actually mean to do this, like this is all completely, um, please say I hit it there. I don't think, oh crap. Why did I do that? Yeah, so um, it was all completely by accident, but I thought it was kind of funny. It's just one of those things that happens while you're recording, and I end on that. So I'll end on a funny note, and that will kind of make the viewers want to see the next part. <coughs> um, another thing I added into my video, if I quickly check him, yep. Another thing I added into my video was a, a beep sound. Uh, I usually add in my beep sound to make it, it seems to be funnier when there's a beep rather than you actually hearing this person swear. Well, it is for me anyway, because, um... Okay, right. Uh, I don't really... Ex I don't really exclamate my speech when I talk, so if I swear it's just kind of, kind of, uh, silent and you can't really hear it very well, so it's not particularly funny. Um, but if we add in a beep sound, I've got a beep sound effect here, and it's a free beep sound effect and it's all royalty free and everything. <coughs> so... I'll put a link for all the beep sound effects and everything in the description as well. But I wanted the beep to start as soon as I hit the ground, which is around about, if we click, go through the frames here, you can see where I actually hit the ground if we go between those two frames. I'll start it exactly on that. If we look there, the actual beep sound effect starts right there. Um, and it usually automatically adds a fade. And this is far too loud for, if we look at it, it's, if we look at our average speech, it's that, it's that, that's how big the sound waves are. But if we look at this, it's much, it's much bigger, so we don't want to scare the crap out of our viewers. So we're going to make it a little bit smaller, and what we're also going to do is cut out everything I said within that space. <coughs> and what also, also makes it kind of, adds a little bit of hilarity to it, is ending the clip. Oh, my shoulder just died there. <laughs> If we end the clip on the sound uh, effect, so the clip will end exactly on that sound effect. 
I don't know why, but for me, it just uh, seems to work better. It just makes it a little bit funnier. And that's us pretty much e edited the whole video. It doesn't usually take that long. Uh, but since I'm talking during it, it, uh, t it took a little bit longer. Um, so I usually add in a little bit of a fade at the end and at the start. If we go to the start here, we add a little bit of a fade like that. And if we look up here, we're going to... Uh, we should have done this at the start actually, but uh, we can look up here and we need to sync up the video a little bit. So, like I said before, I always have a, st a pause at the start three. and you can hear me saying three. Um, so if we find the frame where I actually unpause the video, it's that frame there. And that is the second that I actually start talking. So if we bring all the video along, I mean all the audio, we can actually find where we uh, unpaused it, which is around, it was around about there. It doesn't need to be exact, but I try to get it as as quick, as close as I can, so it should be around about there. We can just quickly go and check everything. We need to quickly do this again because I've done this a little bit wrong. Hey, where do I hit the ground? Around about there. So then that... I think that should be still synced up actually. So what we're going to do is just get rid of this, bring this along, and bring this back like that. And that's us pretty much edited the whole vid video. We just need to get rid of, of um, me counting down here. Bring the fade in a little bit. Like that. And then we can get rid of this and select every single part of the video, including that bit there. And we can zoom in over here and drag it all along. So now that's the video pretty much finished. We can all we need to do is render it out. If we go to project and render as, and we can render it out, and that'll be us finished editing the whole video. Um, yeah, so I thought that be, might be quite interesting for people who don't actually make videos. Um, it might be quite a good insight to how people would usually edit their videos and stuff like that. And it might be interesting or informative for the people who do make videos, but they're not really uh, very... They don't really know much about the actual editing part. So that's how I edit my videos. It's probably not like the quickest or the best or there's going to be something I've done wrong that everyone's going to complain about <laughs> but um, it doesn't really matter to me that much. Uh, I get it done reasonably quickly and it works so um, that's about it and I'll see you guys later.